Greetings, citizens of the internet. I'm Static Buzz, and this is another Let's Guide for Disgaea 5 Complete. This one's going to be on the research facility shop. I don't know what you want to call it. It's research. Uh, okay, where would and you like to you, go, dude? when you unlock that is on 3 5. So we go to 3, we go to 5. So once you beat Fiendish Dance Floor, you will unlock the research shop. <clears throat> And its default location is right here. It is a ninja guy. What? Let's go ahead and jump in there. <clears throat> so I've already sent a group out on this first one. So I guess before I start diving into this, there should be a, a warning that I give you. If you send out characters they have a chance of dying if you go to your hospital and you look Let's at you up. your revive that tells you how many times you've revived somebody from being knocked out or death however you want to word it if you go over 50 before beating the game it will change the ending so be aware of that and the reason why I bring that up is what I already have if I look here all right so let's let's start from scratch nether research so what you're doing here is you're sending out squads to research worlds that you've unlocked all right so what happens when they do that is they go out and they battle enemies there they can level up they can get items and they can bring them back that kind of stuff so you can see on the right there that my squad leader is Overlord Pierre. The squad level is five. That is not your squad level. That is the squad level that for Blood Parch. All right. Research rate 100%. Enemy rate 30%. Uh, acquire rate 30%. So those are all like stats for the those areas and the more you research them the higher those go up or the lower they go depending on what they are like you wouldn't want enemy rate to be higher you'd want that to go down so anyways you see this one's at a hundred percent it takes a while for each it goes up in ten percent increments it looks like so each ten percent increment takes a little bit of time I was running worlds beating worlds and capturing guys and doing things like that to get this up to a hundred so if you just keep running things you'll get there quicker it's not like a I don't I don't believe it's like a real-time thing I think it's uh, how many times you've gone out and done another world battled and then come back I could be wrong on that if I am let me know but uh, anyway so I sent out a group to blood parts Here's the report. You can kind of go through and see what happened. Defeated Prinny. These are items that you've gotten from this. I'm wondering if it shows when my characters actually died because you can see that I'm getting skills, but I had some that died, so I wanted to see if it shows that in here. Mm, now a prisoner, all right. Discovered a gate to dream big n netherworld. Obtain save icon red magnus. All right, so we're gonna go next. We're gonna go here, we're gonna go Confirm. I won't lose. Wait. I won't lose. All right, there you go. So yeah, I'm hitting the wrong button. Nintendo doesn't want to conform like everybody else. So these are all the items that I got from this one. You can see that I got a rare item, but everything else is common. But they have innocence and stuff like that, so you know, still a win-win. So not a big, big deal. All right, so now we're gonna hit A again. We get a prisoner, complete the research and read the report. 
So you saw in the list of things that it said Dream Big World was added, so that is added here. This is a rare Netherworld, and you will get... Wait, another world currently under the loss control. However, there are still res resistances and avoiding combat is impossible. Uh, so yeah, so you can send guys to this one and get items. And you don't have to unlock this by going through the, the game and going through the worlds. As you do go through the game and go through worlds, though, you will unlock more nether worlds that you can go through. But also as you progress through each one of them you will gain more I can actually send another group out if I wanted to but I guess I should have looked at members list because that would have showed me that I had some dead people <laughs> there you go you see that I lost three three people they were probably a little low well eight they, they're eight now I don't think they were eight when I sent them out So the other thing to keep in mind is when you send Let's fix you up. characters out, you cannot use them until you get them back. Oh, Let's fix you up. I got a prize because probably for revive. Yep, ten revives. Not good. I'm not too worried about it. I'll be all right. <clears throat> so all right, I'm gonna send what? another group out to. The new netherworld so you can see how that goes all right so another thing you need to pay attention to is expedition ships there's four of four I can only send four ships out right now that number should increase as you go through the game and you unlock things but for now you've only got four ships so you can only have four research squads going out at a time Oop. what did I just hit um, I went up all right All right, so this is another level five. Enemy rate is 55. There's going to be a lot of battling in this one. So I'm going to probably send somebody with a little more heft. And not somebody that I'm going to use. Let's go with... Almaz is in that group. Uh, let's go ahead and make Hedler the main one. And Razzleberry, my warrior, Mao, Sapphire, Axel, Zeta, Pram, Pita, Overlord. Fenric might die if I send them out. Let's see. Geese. Oh, I'm already I'm already full. Alright. So once you've got them all selected, all the ones you want to send, you're going to want to hit the plus to have them... I'm oh, sorry, not the plus. The... Yeah, it is the plus. This will be your research squad. Is that okay? Yes. And they will go out and they will start researching that area. That, that netherworld. Getting you items and all that good stuff. So... Let's run and do a quick. Where would you like to go, dude? Level rules. Quick, 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 quick. Just so you guys can see, hopefully, that it goes up. I will. I will. You little shit. Uh, let's send her over here. Might as well work on my Terra. Since I... Oh, I can't. She's not close enough. Alright. Alright, we'll do Twilight Element. Why not? And let's go. What? Specials. Truly, true godly weapon. Yeah, we'll use that. <laughs> and Nisa. Game industry. All right, 
right, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Oh, I can't bypass this one because I haven't done it before. It's all right. Looks kind of cool. Same with this one, I haven't done this before. Oh, Desko's back no! comes off? Really? Dude, just a hero in passing. That I can bypass, I've done that before. This is my justice! This is my justice. Alright, let's go back. Hopefully it's gone up a little bit. What? Twelve percent. There you go. So you can see just by doing regular maps, even if they're not your level, that you 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 can get the percentage to go up. I could send out another ship if I wanted to. I just don't have that many characters that I want out of my party right now, so I'm not going to do that. All right. So let's see. Did I cover everything? What? Research sends squad members out to Nether Worlds. You get experience for the squad you sent out. You get um, items. You can unlock other nether worlds. They get experience. They also get skill ups. When they're sent to another world, you can't use them in your normal uh, taking over worlds and beating worlds. Your normal combat, they're not available. Okay, I covered all that. Oh, the one other thing is the cheat shop. The difficulty of the enemies does not affect this. I don't know if experience and that tab affects this. If you have the experience up or the skill up or all that. I have no idea if that affects that. I would, I would think that it wouldn't. If the enemy level doesn't affect it, then I don't think that they would have the cheat shop affect this at all. But I could be wrong, so let me know there. If you send somebody out and you have them in a squad, say like the interrogator, they will not be available for that either. So be aware of that. This is the end. Fool. This is the end. Fool. Do this just for a little bit of fun. Just like that. Just like that. Nice, I'm getting that built up. Solicit. No, don't want to do that. All right, so anyways, that is the research. Pretty straightforward. For characters you're not using, you can send them out. Just be careful. If they die, they will add to your death total for the end game. And uh, like I said, over 50 and you change the ending. <laughs> so uh, if you don't want to do that, don't, don't uh, do that. And I wouldn't say that you don't... Yeah, you don't get the true ending if you go over 50. You get another ending, which uh, I forget what it's called. Uh, I haven't really done it. I've only read about it. So you could read up on that if you just research or Google some um, Disgaea 5 death affecting endgame or something along those lines. You should be able to find exactly what it does. But anyway, so until next video, take care. Bye-bye now. Static. Buzz. Out. I don't care how many times I hear this song. It never gets old to me. Never gets old to me. I need to get my double jump.